The most difficult finish to achieve in any Pinewood Derby car is a mirror-like chrome surface. I've tried several different techniques and none of them very, worked very well. I tried chemical silvering compounds. These did not produce uniform surfaces and were not durable enough for practical use. I've tried both mylar and vinyl plastic stretch sheets. The curves of the average Pinewood Derby car are so sharp that I couldn't get a smooth uniform uh, fitting on these. In the end, the best solution turned out to be a spray chrome finish. This video will chronicle all the tests I did to find out which spray paint provided the best spray chrome finish and the techniques for achieving the brightest shine using this spray paint. These are the 16 different types of chrome spray paint I used to see which produced the best mirror-like finish. For a detailed video on this test, please click on the link in the upper left-hand corner of this frame. The clear winner was Spastex Mirror Chrome Spray Paint, uh, which produced uh, the closest to a chrome type finish uh, that you're likely to get out of a can. It's expensive, a small can like this runs uh, $12, but it's well worth it because unlike many of the other spray uh, can options, which didn't produce that good a finish. This is very durable. Once it's thoroughly cured, you can handle it, you can touch it, it doesn't leave fingerprints, it doesn't discolor. It's one weakness is, is that so far I have not found a clear coat that you can put over it for better protection that doesn't dull it and change its color. Even the clear coat designed for this mirror chrome finish by Spastix itself does not do very well. The first step in creating a chrome-like mirror finish is to use a pore filler to make sure that the paint adheres smoothly without any pinholes or stripes to the surface of the car. To do this, uh, it's almost mandatory that you use some type of pore filler. My preference is for a product called Magicoat. This is a thick, creamy, white material uh, that you can get from uh, Michaels. It's actually designed as a pore filler for styrofoam. It's water-based. I spray, I uh, rub on, just using my finger, uh, two thick coats, uh, letting it dry about three, four hours between each coat. And then I use a soft cloth type sandpaper, such as Micromesh 1500, to, uh, to smooth it out. For painting, I drill a small hole in the base of the car, in front of the tungsten disc, and then screw in a one foot dowel so that I can handle it and keep my hands away from the spray paint. Spastix Mirror Chrome only looks like an actual chrome finish if it's sprayed over a glassy smooth undercoat. The best I have found is Model Master Gloss Black. It produces a very hard, very durable, glass smooth coat that works very well with the spastics. Any gloss finish will work fine for the spastics. Traditionally, black is used because it shows where you've sprayed the spastics to make sure that you get even coverage. Working in a dust-free environment, and making sure you keep the can well shaped, spray light coats of the Model Master Gloss Black, allowing 15 to 20 minutes between each coat.
it's hard to see right now, uh, but what I've done is put two coats, two light coats of the Model Master Gloss Black on the car. Uh, let them dry about uh, 20 minutes between each coat. And then to get the absolute smoothest, glassiest finish, I put a wet coat on. This is a slightly heavier coat that allows the uh, paint to flow together to create a mirror-like finish. This is a very uh, tricky step to do because if you get just a little too much paint on, you start getting runs. But it's absolutely essential to get a mirror-like reflection off of the chrome paint. After that, uh, I put it where it's going to uh, be able to dry in a safe location and let it sit for at least three days. The last step after the uh, Spastix Mirror Chrome is sprayed on and dried is to buff it out and unless all the layers of paint are thoroughly cured, during the buffing process you're actually going to mar the paint. All right. Three days have gone by, <clears throat> it's time to start spray painting. Um, I like to soak the can, being careful not to get the nozzle wet, in as hot a water I can get out of the tap as possible. This increases the internal pressure and creates a, a, a finer spray. What you want to do is put on many very light fogging coats. The first couple of coats you probably won't even be able to see. and let it sit for a couple minutes. The coats are so light that they dry almost instantly. The theory I've read that explains why this is supposed to work is the tiny droplets are able to spread out uh, very thin um, and produce the, the smooth finish you need for a good glossy surface. barely starting to see some gray now and that's it ten coats later and it has a slightly speckled or sandy look to it that's okay that will buff out what we have to do now is set it aside for one day to thoroughly dry Once the uh, mirror chrome is thoroughly cured, use any very soft uh, cloth and lightly buff the surface. You don't want to be scouring it. You just want to re re uh, remove the um, loose paint. And as you can see, this brightens it up considerably. I like to use freshly laundered cotton gloves because if I need to touch the surface and it's not completely cured, uh, there's not as much chance of leaving a fingerprint. And here's the finished car. It's a remake of an earlier car whose finish I didn't quite like. It's called the Silver Bullet. As you can see, while the finish is not as sharp as a true chrome finish, it is undoubtedly the best you can do using a rattle can spray paint.